Funded by the Victorian State Government, Goulburn Valley Health's $171 million redevelopment is providing expanded modern healthcare facilities for the local community. We're expanding ED to double in size. We're building a new renal dialysis unit and we have an inpatient unit tower site which will provide 64 new inpatient beds, new theatres, a new kitchen, a new morgue and lots of new plant to provide air conditioning etc to the new areas. GV Health is also developing new models of care complementing its new facilities. What we've got to consider when we open the doors is that we can provide the best care in the new environment. So we're actually designing something that the staff and the community have engaged with to inform not only the services that we need but how they're configured, which means redeveloping this site completely. So it probably means building over the next five years, but the vision is all worth it. All stakeholders, including staff and community representatives, have had input into what the hospital needs and what it will look like. So as a community advice group member, we've met regularly and we're a really diverse group from the community, which has been really great. My main focus has been making sure the paediatric unit is as friendly and as inviting as possible for our sickest kids. To have new amenities which will attract new staff and new services will bring a, a whole new dynamic to our healthcare in our region. The project is a big win for the local economy, with more than 140 jobs created during the peak of construction. Lenley's project engineer Mia Panagiotidis has relocated from Melbourne to work on the rebuild, being one of many women who are taking on jobs in the building industry. When comparing work in Melbourne with work in a regional area, I guess one of the, the, the main standout things would be the, the community aspect and there's that real work-life balance element to it, so it sort of feels that what you're doing truly matters, you know, be able to contribute to something that, that means so much uh, to the community. And for those long-serving staff members, it's an exciting time as the upgrade unfolds. I have been at Gone Valley Health about 38 years. There's been a lot of growth over that time, and it's been exciting to see the development, uh, enabling us to bring more services to the region. This redevelopment is meeting the needs of our community. It's bringing the service to our community so they're not having to travel down to Melbourne to get the service or the care that they need. Having started in September 2017, the redevelopment is due for completion in early 2021. With the newly redeveloped facilities at Rushworth and Shepparton, this will be a terrific environment for patients and a fantastic place for people to work and we're really excited that this will give staff an opportunity to work in not only a brand new environment but with the best equipment and technology that's available for them as well.